All right, today I got another Simpson pressure washer. I've had like four of these. I just took this off to get easier access to the pump. But it's a typical 3100 PSI OEM axial cam pump. Uh, I cleaned it off a little bit. It's got plenty of oil, looks like new. Guy really didn't use it much. Spark plug looks really good. He said it had no pressure. I'm assuming it's the unloader, but you know, I'm gonna take it apart first and troubleshoot. Usually I clean everything up great before, but I just didn't because I want to get it working and then I'll clean it. Wow, that bolt was stuck in there. So I, it's another thing I like to kind of compare, make sure they're the same length, all bolts are the same length. So that way, you know, when we go to take it apart, put it back together. Yeah, so valves are shot. I don't know if you can see, it's all melted. Melted, melted. I'm not sure on that one. Uh, yeah, that's melted. So I have a cap pump. That's an extra one I'm just gonna throw on here because I don't have a valve kit for this. I'm moving in a week. So I just need to get this uh, set. So let me get the other pump. So I'm actually probably, get, I might save this pump and order the rebuild parts for it because they're like 20 bucks. And judging from like the spark plug and everything else, I can tell that this unit was hardly used. So, just kind of depends, or I might give it to one of my buddies uh, and he'll rebuild it. The thing that kills me is I had those valves before. So, probably needs all six. I mean, when you buy it, the kit, it's the six valves. Uh, and then you can also buy the seal kit. Actually, come to think of it, you know what, I might not, I, I, I don't know if I'll rebuild or not. Because a lot of the time, my experience, those valves melted because it was being run and uh, water wasn't throw, flowing through the pump head. So it wasn't cooling it down, so those, those melted. And a lot of times when people do that, it also damages the seals. So you should really, in my experience, replace the seals and the check valves. Uh, I mean, this is a $120 pump, and I think to buy those parts, you're at like 40 bucks. So it's definitely worth it. Uh, and then probably the unloader is stuck, because it seems like that's always the case. So the cap pump I'm putting on here is a way better quality one. Uh, basically, I use the motor on that for a different project. And that's how I got it. But I want to say that's maybe like a $450 pump. Where this is you know, a $120 pump. So big difference in quality. Of course. This is stuck now. Um, let's see. Let me get a screwdriver because I'm checking to see if there's uh, any sort of grub screw to hold the shaft on, but there's not on this pump. So let me get uh, something to hit it off with. Every now and then I'll get one of these where it's kind of stuck, but it really doesn't happen often. The 99% of the time they just slide right off. So I was able to get it started a little, push it. You can hear when I hit it, it kind of, it bottomed out. So. This is 
is actually a bit unusual because really they don't get stuck like this in my experience. So you can see the rust and it's just rusted onto the shaft. So uh, let me get something a little thicker there I can push it more. All right, here's how I've done it before, something like this. I put this as kind of a nice little backer plate because you know, this is aluminum, it's soft. I don't want to damage it and just kind of whack. You know, push it a bit. I hear the change in sound, that's because I was hitting the shaft. And then put another one and just keep building it up till it pushes off the shaft. And the reason I like files, one, I have them. I don't know why my grandfather had a ridiculous file collection. Uh, but two, they go across the whole thing. They're not too thick, they're easy to build up. And then, just keep adding them and and uh, oh, maybe this time the pump will just pop off. rusted on there pretty good uh, I don't see any grease or anything on here so next step is I like to start the motor 600 grit sandpaper and clean the shaft before I put the new pump on so this should start guys said the motor run it ran on choked and then I'll pull it um, I don't know what that washer is too, but let's just start it up. All right, so let me whack that out. And shoot, sorry. How I've done these before is just kind of hit them until they um, bottom out and then they pop. So let me start back again to clean the shaft. nice and clean so I actually have <laughs> this cat pump that I don't need um, I have two plates this one was broken but here's a not a non broken one so let's uh, let's put that on and I'll bring it back these are the original bolts came with this pump mounting plate I actually had this pump on eBay and just yanked it off as the auction today uh, this morning when I saw this pressure washer so it should just be half inch or whatever 13, 12 13 mil I'm not a big fan of using the impact on these going into aluminum too easy to strip it out so I rather just do it by hand take the other you know couple more couple more minutes
Tighten those down. Uh, I just put grease on because the grease gun was closer. And grease versus anti-seize, hey, the goals. So it doesn't corrode. So if you go to remove the pump, it's easy to take off. So in reality, they're both fine. Now, here's where you gotta make sure the key's lined up. Otherwise, you'll have a problem. So I'm actually gonna spin this a bit because the key's on the, on the side. Because if you twist the pump, it'll start leaking oil. So I just kind of paid attention to where it is. Now I've had this happen on cats before. Uh, it's actually the location of the key. It's too long, so that's why I was kind of banging it to move the key further that way, to drive it that way. But now it's all the way because this meets here. And if you try to just tighten these bolts up, while there's a gap, some you'll bend this aluminum plate or you'll snap it. So that's what happened with this one. Snap doing that. I'm just start these by hand. A little disappointed this pump wasn't rebuildable. I mean, it wasn't the unloader. I kind of figured it was gonna be a simple fix on the old pump. Just take the unloader off, clean it, lubricate it, fix the corrosion, but it was melted and that's that. I'm actually gonna get a socket on these because it's hard to get them in position wise once I start this. Yeah. All right, so now they're all started. Uh, give me another second. One more bolt. All right. All set. Okay, so I had other videos of it running, but somehow my camera got set to slow-mo mode and I couldn't figure out how to fix it. So last thing I did, I adjusted the unloader. I took it out a little because this motor is 190 cc and this was set on a motor that was 210 cc. Uh, some of the O-rings were missing on the ends here, so check that. If you buy something used i had to replace them spray it with silicone wd-40 so that way you can put uh connectors in another reason i like using quick connects is because then you're not always tearing the o-rings back and forth or putting pressure on them sometimes they go missing another thing on these cat pumps this is kind of cool actually you can either have it this way where it's going here or rotate it 180 and go that way you just have to switch the caps this is a vent cap and then the bottom cap doesn't have a vent hole so you would just switch that. You can put the head either way. The head originally was this way with the unloader going down. Uh, and then something cool. So these caps here, they make threaded ones. Like inside there's a hole. You can put a pressure gauge on there. You can put um, a idle down feature. So kind of neat. But anyways, this is done. This is the Simpson Redone with better quality cat pump but nice unit i just don't have a need for it and time to sell oh and then the only other issue i had so this was bent the guy dropped something on it and he didn't unbend it he was afraid it would break so i unbent it and taped this because it was uh cracked so this was going to break eventually well hope that helps somebody yeah give me a like and subscribe thanks for watching